the touchscreen is your control panel for accessing functions, features, and apps in your Tesla. The web browser is a full-featured browser for accessing the internet. The browser can be loaded full screen or split screen with another app. Use this feature as an extension of your mobile office for accessing information when needed or your passenger can use during driving. Please note, do not use the web browser while driving your vehicle for your safety and the safety of others on the road. The Energy app will give you feedback on how your driving habits are impacting the expected range of your vehicle. While viewing the consumption graph, you will see how much energy your vehicle has consumed over the past 5, 15, or 30 miles, how this compares to the EPA-rated range, and what your projected range would be if you continue to drive in this manner. The consumption graph can also be displayed on the instrument panel behind the steering wheel. The trip chart will monitor the amount of energy being used while navigating to a destination and will also track your actual usage against the initial prediction. The camera allows you to display what the high-definition rear-view camera sees at any time. When in reverse, guidelines appear and move with the steering wheel to show your trajectory. Always be sure to check your surroundings and use your mirrors. The camera is an aid and should not be relied upon for rear view. The Tesla Motors app puts Tesla owners in direct communication with their cars anytime, anywhere. Once downloaded from your phone app store, Log in to gain access to your vehicle. Once logged in, on the home screen, you'll be shown the overall status of your vehicle. This includes your vehicle's name, any open doors, front trunk, trunk, or sunroof, and the current estimated range of your vehicle. If you have Summon enabled and within range, you'll see a Summon button above the car. To use this feature, touch Summon and then press and hold forward or reverse to engage Summon. Summon will automatically open or close your garage to park or unpark for your convenience. Touch controls to access your vehicle controls. These include venting and closing your sunroof, locking and unlocking the doors remotely, honking the horn and flashing the headlights. Touch charge to modify your charge limit. Drag the slider to modify the limit you want to charge your vehicle to. Touch climate to set the vehicle's internal temperature remotely. This is a convenient way to cool or heat your vehicle before getting in. At the top right, you can turn climate controls on or off, and below, you can change the temperature to your desired preference. Touch location to load up location features. Here you can see where your vehicle is and where you are in relation. View in map or satellite view. And by touching directions on the top right, You'll be taken to your phone's default Maps app to acquire directions. Beyond these controls, touch the top left button to reveal a sidebar menu. In the sidebar menu, you have the main controls, which we just reviewed. Valet mode, notification settings, calendar, and sign out. Valet mode is a feature you can enable that restricts access to your vehicle when handing it over to a valet. Restrictions include hiding all personal data from your touchscreen, locking the glove box and frunk and limit the maximum speed your vehicle can achieve. Notifications is where you can enable or disable notifications from your vehicle. Just touch to enable any notifications you would like. Calendar assists with providing access to your phone's calendar when connected to your vehicle via Bluetooth. Additionally, it provides an overview of what functions are enabled in your vehicle. Lastly, sign out. Use this to sign out of your Tesla Motors app if you ever need. The phone app allows you to make and receive calls once you've paired a phone with your Tesla. You can make phone calls by using the on-screen dialer, touching a contact in your recent calls, contact list, or speaking a voice command while pressing the voice button on the steering wheel. To receive a phone call, touch answer on your touchscreen or use the scroll wheel on the right side of your steering column to accept. In this video, we'll review all options within the control section of your Tesla. To access controls, touch controls on the lower left corner of the touchscreen. In the controls menu, the top half of the screen has tabs for controlling the sunroof, suspension, driving, cold weather, trips, displays, e-brake, and power off controls. On the bottom half of the screen, controls for the doors, locks, and lights are always present. If equipped, sunroof controls allow you to open, vent, and close the sunroof precisely how you want. You can drag the slider on the right-hand side, or touch and slide the sunroof with your finger. Additionally, the sunroof can be adjusted from the steering wheel scroll wheel. 
suspension controls enable you to adjust the ride height of your Tesla if your Tesla is equipped with the optional Smart Air suspension and enable automatic lowering for optimal freeway driving. Model S can also automatically adjust suspension height based off GPS location when needed. If you're ever required to raise your vehicle with a jack, enable jack mode here before doing so. See your manual before jacking up your vehicle for additional information about jack points. Driving controls enables adjustment of the steering mode, which modifies the sensitivity of the steering wheel. These modes include comfort, standard, and sport. Acceleration allows you to modify the vehicle's acceleration ability. Sport is the standard level of acceleration. Choose Ludicrous to increase peak torque by approximately 60%. Ludicrous mode is only available with the optional performance upgrade on specific models. Creep mode, when enabled, will slowly move your vehicle forward when in drive or reverse when you release the brake, similar to a conventional vehicle with automatic transmission. If you turn off traction control or enable slip start, a warning message displays on the instrument panel. Traction control turns off for the current drive only. On dual motor vehicles, traction control is automatically turned back on when the speed exceeds 40 miles per hour. Regenerative braking slows the vehicle down as you lift off the accelerator pedal. It recaptures the energy from you moving forward and returns it to the battery. If set to low, range decreases and the vehicle will coast as the accelerator pedal is released. Range mode automatically limits the amount of power that the climate control system uses to maintain the temperature of the battery and the cabin area. If equipped with the optional cold weather package, cold weather controls enables control of all seat heaters as well as the heated wipers and steering wheel. Heaters that are turned on are displayed in red. You can touch each seat individually to change the amount of heat and also control the front driver and passenger seats using the main climate control panel located on the bottom of the touchscreen. In the trips controls, you can view and reset the trip meters that summarize a trip you've designated to be tracked. Trips information can also be displayed on the instrument panel behind the steering wheel. The display controls let you manually control the brightness and the day or night setting for the touchscreen and instrument panel. When set to auto, Brightness changes automatically between day and night based on ambient lighting conditions. When auto adjust is checked, the displays are further adjusted based on both the surroundings and by learning your preferences. Clean mode disables the touchscreen momentarily for cleaning purposes. Simply press on the brake to re-engage the touchscreen. Power management puts your vehicle into an energy saving mode to consume less energy when it's not in use. E-brake and power off controls enables you to manually apply and release the parking brake and power off the vehicle. The parking brake is automatically set anytime your Tesla is in park. Powering off the vehicle doesn't cut power from the battery. Rather, it just powers off the displays and interior lights as if the car is parked. If you are in need of additional assistance, you can reach Tesla support at 844-248-3752.